Okay, we just got done with stadiums. No, we just got started with stadiums and arena. Let's go for this, uh, colonial right, Americans go. for 400. In 1636, he bought land at the head of Narragansett Bay. Player two? Who is Roger Williams? Oh. That's right. Darn it. Tradition says he was the first pilgrim to set oh. foot on Plymouth Rock. Player two? Who is John Alden? Yeah. Yes. This country consists of 13 states plus the federal territories of Labuan oh, and Oh, um, um. Player two? What is Malaysia? Yeah. Yes. That was the one. Okay, player two. You can find this country's major airports in Varna, Burgas, Burgas, Burgas. Player one? Well, wow. I don't see Sappy. No. Oh, I spell B U K instead of B U L. What is Bulgaria? To be sure. Um. The inhabitants of this country are known as Burkinabi. Burkinabi. Player one. Also. Yes. Okay, good. 400 countries of the world. South Africa is bordered on the west and north by this country that became independent in 1990. Player one? That's correct. Yeah. Odense and Svenborg are major ports on Finn, an island of this country. Player one? That's right. Now we know where the Daily Double is. Stadiums and Arenas 2. From 1966 to 1986, this NFL team played its home games in the Orange. My, um, Miami Dolphins. Yeah, the Miami Dolphins. That's it, exactly. Your the choice. Orange Bowl did giveaway. Orange Bowl did giveaway. Stadium, that stadium is no longer attacked, man. Yeah, I know. 300. The opening ceremonies for the 1932 and 1984 Summer Olympic Games took place at this L.A. arena. Oh. Um, Player two? What is the Coliseum? Yeah. Correct. The L.A. Coliseum. Ah, uh, and that's the Daily Double. 1400. Stadium and this Red Sox Park are oh, the oldest major league ball. Fenway Park. Oh, what is Fenway Park? Exactly. He's catching them. He's still catching them. Five of the ten largest soccer stadiums are in this country. Player one? What is Brazil? According to FIFA, five of the 10 largest soccer stadiums are in this country. Yeah. That's it. And it's in Brazil. The new future home of the FIFA Cup. Phew. Player three. There's a lot of game left, so hang in there. Double right, Jeopardy. So double Jeopardy. Now here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Bird, Bird parts. parts. Oh god. Business, and, Business industry. and industry. World, World history. history. 20th, 20th century women. Alright. Archaeology. Archaeology. And novels. novels and, and novelists. Novelist. Double Jeopardy time. Let's kick it. Your turn, Player 3. In 447, he and his band of Huns devastated the area between the Mediterranean and Black Sea. Who is Eric the Great? Who is Attila? Yes. Attila. Amerigo Vespucci provided supplies for this man's second voyage of exploration oh. in 1493. Player one? Ah, shoot. Be you as I guess. Correct. World history for six. 
In 331 BC, the Greek and Macedonian armies under this general conquered the Persians. Brutus? Anyone? Here is the correct response. Alexander the Great. Player one, you choose. 800. This emperor of the Aztecs presented Hernan Cortez with rich gifts, believing he was the god Quetzalcoatl. What the hell? Um, got nothing. Here is the correct response. Montezuma. Player one, your turn. Thousand. Th this ah. Union Ironclad was launched at Greenpoint, New York, January 30th, 1862. Union Ironclad? Uh, nothing. The Monitor! It's your turn, Player One. Oh, uh, let's go for bin Business and Industry 2. Slurpee is one of the brand names belonging to this operator oh, of 7-Eleven Convenience Store. Oh, Player One? Oh, wait, Southwest Corporation. Hang on. Uh... A O R P O R. Yes. Phew. Go always double check on the spelling too, kids. Okay, four hundred. Completes the decaf coffee slogan. Fill it to the rim with. Player two. What is brim? Correct. Brim. Player two. Yeah. She served as a truck driver and mechanic during World War II before becoming Queen of the United Kingdom. Who is Queen? Queen? No, Elizabeth! That's too vague. More specific, please. Uh, the first. The second. Second. You are correct. Okay, it's the second. And I want she wants more specific. Oh. I'd like to shut my pants again, folks. My man is in monkey's butt. 600. Word for a half hour TV ad bought by a company to demonstrate one or more products. Wait, what? Whoa. No, that's incorrect. What? It is an infomercial. What is an infomercial? Correct. Why? In the eighteen fifties, this company introduced the installment plan to allow people to buy its sewing machines. Brother, singer. And him too. Anybody? No, oh, I said the other one. All right, contestant two. Trying to bet off. receptacle, a chipmunk cheek, or the sack under a pelican's bill. Oh. Player one. You are correct. Business industry thousand. In 1992, this Pittsburgh pickle maker established a factory in Cairo, Egypt. Shoot. Uh. Player three. What is H.J. Hines? Correct. Oh, that. Fossils of this early man were first discovered in a German valley in 1856. Caveman? Player two. What is the Neanderthal man? That's it. Player two. What the hell? Uh, Player two. Yikes. Yikes. That's one. Scientists learn about ancient plant life by studying fossilized grains of this from flowers. What are seeds? That's wrong. Ha <laughs> ha! Pollen dope! Fanny Price falls in love with her cousin Edmund in this Pride and Prejudice author's Mansfield Park. Um. Player one? 
That's correct. And we lost... Yeah, we lost Mikey. Quad. Um... Screw. Let's go archaeology six. These scrolls were uncovered by a Bedouin boy exploring a cave at Qumran in 1947. Player three. What is? What are the Dead Sea Scrolls? No. Nah, yes. Yeah. Snake hey. Town on the Gila River in this state is the best studied village of the Hohokam culture. Player three. What is Arizona? Ah, uh, Arizona, of course. The ruins at Angkor Wat were discovered <coughs> in the Southeast Asian country around 1860. Player one? That's correct. Novels, novels, four. Emily Bronte's only novel. It was first published in 1847, a year before she died. Player one? Oh. Correct. Okay. I spelled wavelength wrong when I knew that I had to double check because there was no L. I thought, oh crap, this is not going to turn up, but thankfully, double check on the spelling, too. As I said, like, three times. The title of this Time Machine author's 1909 novel, Tornal Bungay, refers to a quack medicine. Player one? Yes. 800. Bad Man from Bodie was the British title of this ragtime author's first novel, Welcome to Hard Times. Player two? Who is D.H. Lawrence? Oh. Eh. Anybody? Here is the correct response. E.L. Dark Ruler. Oliver Goldsmith's novel, The Vicar of This Place, has been compared to a fairy tale. Player two? Venice. What is Wakefield? You are correct. Oh. This Pakistani prime minister was the first foreign woman president of the Oxford Union. That's Player a 20th three. century woman. Who is Benazir Bhutto? Yeah, that yes. was her. Her third husband, Gregory Bateson, was also an anthropologist. Player one? I'm gonna try this. Who is Elizabeth Taylor? Good guess, but that's wrong. Uh, Anyone? But they're husband. Player two? Who is Mary Leakey? No. Not her as well. Player three? Who is it, Margaret Mead? To be sure. Ah, oh, Margaret. Player three, it's your turn. 800. Miller won five Olympic medals in this sport in 1992. Um, uh, gymnastics. That's correct. Yes! Thousand. In 1995, oh, this Lord. first woman, elected to both houses of Congress, died in Skowhegan, Maine. Player three. Who is Margaret Chase Smith? Correct. Bingo. And it's the final daily double. Player three. Your wager, please. Hang on. Hang on for one bit, folks.
I'm back. Sorry about it. I had to get my tea. Okay, where are we? Okay, well, let's go for it. Alright, let's go. A peruncle is a fleshy outgrowth. Like this on the top of a roof. Oh, what's the... Here's your clue. Take a look. Oh. Um, yeah. What is a fetlock? A what? Good guess. But... I know. It's a comb. Collective terms it's for all sex. The feathers of a bird. Player two? I did it again. What Why, yes. For eight this time. What is the gizzard? Oh it's the shoot. It's the claw of an eagle. Oh. Layer two. What is the talon? That's it. Final Jeopardy. That's the end of double Jeopardy. Oh, well, I can over seventy eight hundred. Player one, <laughs> this is a no-brainer, unless somebody does something foolish. I don't think we could do something foolish. Here's the category for Final, final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. Historic <laughs> Americans. <laughs> There's the clue, uh, the category. Can you guys hang on just a second here? I'm making a mess. Historic Americans, we got 70... 7,800, player 3 is in the hall, so she can't join in Final Jeopardy. Player 2 has 2,800. You know what, man? If you're not the lead, don't... I wouldn't even gamble with you. 200. Alright, here's the answer. Good luck. Riddle lost. We still got the one going. A statue of him stands at Yale, Connecticut Hall. A copy can be found at CIA headquarters in Virginia. What is the statue of Lori Lori? No. Player two, your question. That's right. Oh, it was him. Was. Well, we wait to 200. So we won with an even 8,000 bucks. Your question, player one. Very good. Now. $64,008,072,000. Great game. Jeez. I like to thank my Sky Guest for being the first part come up next. More behind the scenes how we get to the... Gameplay review. We're gonna show you how we done that. So, and it's coming up when we come back. So stay tuned for that one, kitties.